Hey guys, so I know I mentioned in a word vomit, I know I mentioned in a word vomit that I wanted to do, I wanted to talk about characters, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to, you know, make videos about it or just write blog posts about it. Well, the more I keep thinking about it, the more I realize I can't make a blog post about it because I've tried and I just can't get my words out the way I'd like to get them out. So I'm going to make a video about it. <laughs> Easiest solution ever, right? The character I want to talk about today is Sydney Chambers from the series Grandchester. Just to give you a little bit of a backstory is about this vicar, Sydney Chambers, who helps the police solve mysteries. I always seem to be attracted to these types of shows. I love my mystery shows. I always find myself being attracted to these shows where the person who's helping solve the mysteries is n not trained in this whatsoever. What's so great about Sidney Chambers is that he has that essence of human. He understands that we're all humans and we all make mistakes. He feels guilty about some of the things that he has done because of his position in life. He, like, it's a line that he says in one of the episodes is that he's a vicar. He is meant to be above reproach about the things that he's teaching on. But he still has his moments where he, he slips up and he makes the mistakes and he does the human thing, which is to be completely and totally not perfect. Like, and it's beautiful and I, I just love it. And seeing Sidney struggle with himself on, this, on the matters of the choices that he's made, even though he's being faced with all of this chaos and, you know, people making bad decisions, he still, you know, he still sees them in a way that we're kind of supposed to see people. I don't know. I don't know if any of this is making sense. Is this making sense? Probably not. Because rarely anything I say to me makes sense. It makes sense in my head, but it doesn't make sense once I say it. I guess what I just really love so much about the character is that he's easy to connect with. And it's the characters that are easy to connect with because you see them struggling with similar things that you're struggling with. And it's, it's a nice bond that you can create with characters. And it helps you have that sense of feeling of you're not alone. Sometimes you feel like you're the only one who is struggling with whatever you're struggling with. And having characters that are going through the same thing, not necessarily like the exact same situation, but like you see that they're struggling too, it makes you feel less embarrassed, I guess would be the way to put it, about the fact that you are struggling. And I think that's a wonderful thing and I think that's why people do things like blog and make YouTube videos and stuff and why there is that personal aspect of blogging that some people think should not exist at all. Like some people don't think that there should be any kind of personal touch to their blogging and that makes it harder to connect and when people are looking for videos and like blogs to read and stuff like that, you're wanting to find someone who is basically confirming the fact that you're not alone in your struggle and that you will be fine and you'll make it through. Like that's, I think that's what we all look for as humans. I don't know, that got really deep really fast, a lot deeper than I was expecting to. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share. I do my best to make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I will see you next video. Bye. I lost my train of thought. I guess I'm just standing on the platform and I've missed the train.